shoot. A nice sprawl there from Sigvaldison, but Oliver doing everything he can to push through it and rolls around and gets back to his feet. A nice exchange there, but a nice takedown defense from Sigvaldison. Great takedown defense by Sigvaldison and uh, throwing some great knees. Oliver trains with uh, some of the best wrestlers in the country. Um, and so you are going to see uh, some great takedown defense so far by Sigvaldison, but continuing on in the continuity of the wrestling by Keegan Oliver. Uh, but very impressive by Sigvaldison coming in with the game plans to work on his takedown defense, and you need it against a guy like Keegan Oliver, who's just known to take guys down over and over again. So far, so good for Sigvaldison on the defense, but Oliver picks him right up off the ground and now has him down on the ground, but in a guard, although the head to the side, not really in danger of a guillotine choke there, but it looks like Sigvaldison's trying to pull the arm out. Yeah, trying to get that arm into a position that he can work with, but uh, Keegan's going to move forward here. Um, one of the things that uh, happened, and a little bit of rubber guard action happening here from Sigvaldison, uh, one of the things that happened in the first fight is Oliver didn't uh, Oliver didn't do anything on the ground, and uh, the referee running over those small punches looked like a tap out. So uh, good thing that uh, Coivisu didn't stop it. That would be uh, very unfortunate. Yes. But yeah, Keegan Oliver didn't do anything on the ground on his top fight, and uh, he stands by his victory. And uh, in his second fight, he learned from that, and he just was nonstop. It just. It was, if you go back and watch that fight, I don't think he ever stopped taking him down. It was just takedown, and then he would let him up, punch him a few times, and take him down, and let him up and punch him and take him down. Uh, and now controlling on the ground, very difficult to get a wrestler uh, there, but again, some interesting defense by Sigvaldison. Yeah, Sigvaldison doing a good job of holding Oliver at bay so far. And, and again, for my money, doing more of the damaging strikes from the bottom. Now, this is what my argument was in Oliver's first fight, was that he wasn't now... Now, he's doing some damage of his own right now. These and, are big and, shots coming down here and, by Keegan. And, and I'm sure he can't hear me, but it's like he heard me. Uh, because uh, I thought, again, in that first fight, while he was on top, he certainly wasn't landing the most damaging strikes. And this was Keegan, Keegan baited him into this. Uh, you watched him let him crawl out the cage, and he did it just so he could pick him up and slam him down, making impressions on judges. That's what he's here for. Uh, just coming down to our last couple seconds in our feature fight clock that you see in the right-hand corner. Ten seconds now left in round number one. Oliver will likely end it on top, although Sigvaldison does a nice job to squirm out, but just uh, they wait out the end of the first round. Down in the corner, we want to make sure it's nice and fair. No, uh, no wet spots on the, no wet spots on the cage. Our beautiful Hard Knocks fighting cage, by the way. Yeah, new mat, new mat with the Hard Knocks fighting uh, logo in the center. If you want your logo in the center of the Hard Knocks cage, just contact Hard Knocks Fighting at Hard Knocks Fighting. Com. And also, uh, if you want to get into the cage, uh, go to hardknocksfighting.com. Click the Become a Fighter link, as both these fighters have done. Oliver nodding that, yeah, you tagged me with that one, but he's still coming forward. Again, some good striking here uh, by both guys. Not, not necessarily damaging striking by, by either one. Both fighters really kind of feeling each other out here again early in round two. Not a bad kick by Oliver. Not a bad kick by either man as they both stepped into one. Oliver's to the midsection, Sigvaldison's to the leg. Again, exchanging punches coming in. You can see the training that Oliver's had at Beaumont though. You, you see that one fist that's staying real tight to his chin that may not have in the past. Yeah, very tightening up the striking. And again, it's not necessarily about how hard you hit, but how accurate you hit. Uh, I've mentioned it before, J George St. Pierre is an excellent example. Yes, he hits hard, but boy, does he ever hit accurately. One of the most accurate uh, punchers in the UFC. And he's mentioned in the past that if you hit a guy at 100% accuracy, at 10% power, it's going to feel like the other way around. Oliver trying to drive through a takedown and does manage to get the takedown there up against the cage. Turns around, spins, and secures again. Fighting for that double leg, closing the hands behind the thighs of Sigvaldison and able to drive through. Yeah, it's been a it's been a change in the in in wrestling in the last little bit on where your hand position is. It used to be you wanted the hands on the back of the knees. Uh, it was an equal balance for takedown defense and uh, and attacking. 
by positioning his hands a little bit higher up, he's actually moving it and making it easier on the center of gravity to take down. And huge elbows being dropped down on the stomach. And it looks like Sigvaldason is just going to sit there and let him do it. Now, are they causing damage? Maybe not. But in the judges' scorecards, that looks good. Yeah, again, uh, Keegan Oliver doing damage from the top uh, and, and doing everything he can to continue on uh, like he did in the first round, doing damage from the top. And again, going to the rubber guard is Sigvaldison, but Oliver slips that out, and now his one arm is trapped on the other side, and we'll see whether or not Sigvaldison can do anything with it. Yeah, switching too and uh, looking for perhaps an omoplata, but uh, Oliver uh, pushing forward and uh, getting out of that position, which is ultimately defense, and keeping his thighs high up on the thighs of his opponent. And Sigvaldison trying to uh, do some damage here, but Keegan laying on top. Um, I, I would like to see Keegan busier, like he did right at the end there, but uh, but again, that looked like a nice solid round for Keegan Oliver. Like Sigvaldison now coming out with a hurry for round number three and trying to get on top, bouncing off the cage and lands on top of Keegan Oliver. This is something we haven't seen from Keegan Oliver yet. We'll see how he can work from his back. Yeah, and this that was set up the whole way. This is the thought. I'm coming forward against a guy who's known to have good takedowns. What he's going to do is he's going to try and take, he's going to drop down and try and take me down which is what Keegan did. Sigvaldison fainted that running forward and then he stopped and was able to, uh, was able to secure a takedown of his own. And now he's on top and uh, looking to advance from here. But again, he's not really remaining all that busy on top. Putting some position, maybe trying to work uh, for a submission. Uh, but Keegan Oliver uh, actively defending on the ground. Well, and we do talk about Keegan's wrestling primarily. However, also uh, does train primarily at Gracie Baja, an excellent jiu-jitsu gym with a superb record here in the Hard Knocks Fighting Championship. Had some great fighters coming out of there. Uh, James Haddad, uh, one of the Hard Knocks fighters that uh, had some success outside of Hard Knocks. And is in Keegan's corner. Tonight. And is in Keegan's corner with Josh Russell. And... Uh, these are successful fighters coming out of Gracie Baja. Again, Keegan Oliver still on, on the ground with Sigvaldison on top. Um, not much happening here, though. There's no advancing of position. Um, there's no even some, some light strikes that you saw from Keegan Oliver. Now he's trying to position pass, but uh, Keegan Oliver going tight, and now he's going for a triangle position. Got a single arm in and looking to tighten it up. Uh, he needs to get that uh, foot in behind the knee and extend that arm, but uh, pushing forward. There he is. Now he's got it tight. This might be the first time Keegan Oliver finishes a fight. He's got the triangle in tight. He needs to pull down on the head. Sigvaldison doing a good job to keep the, the tension off his neck there by standing up and kind of moving, hunching forward. He takes a little bit of the pressure off his neck and off the choke. Yeah, he needs to pull that arm in, does Keegan Oliver, but he's trying it, and there's the tap. There is Keegan Oliver getting his first finish. And he is jacked up. He finished the fight there. Uh, the first time in his career, he's got a finish and pushing his record to 3-0 now at 125.